It sounds like the long-awaited, cancelled Rogue Squadron Star Wars movie is back in development. Yes, you heard that right. Patty Jenkins, the director of the Rogue Squadron movie before it was cancelled, has come out and said the movie is back in the development process. Now, this article comes from IGN. We're going to read through it right here, and I'm going to give my thoughts on it at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around for that and leave a like on the video. Let's get right into this. Star Wars Rogue Squadron back in development, Patty Jenkins says. Patty Jenkins says her previously shelved Star Wars project, Rogue Squadron, is back in development. The Wonder Woman director shared the update during an interview with the Talking Pictures podcast. It's a surprising update for those who thought the fighter pilot focused spinoff would never land, but Jenkins says she is at least back writing a draft now that her schedule has opened up. When I left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3, and I started working on that, we talked about, well, maybe I'll come back to Star Wars after Wonder Woman 3. So we started a deal for that to happen, she said. When Wonder Woman 3 then went away, Lucasfilm and I were like, oh, we've got to finish this deal. We finished that deal right as the strike was beginning, so I now owe a draft of Star Wars. In other words, Rogue Squadron remains in the early stages of development since our last update in 2022. However, it's at least some positive news that signals Disney still wants this project to happen in some form. The company is currently in a bit of a lull when it comes to Star Wars movies as Disney Plus spinoff shows content continues to roll out. Other films in the work include Mandalorian and Grogu, as well as Taika Waititi's Untitled Movie. They have a hard job in front of them of, what's the first movie they're going to do? She continued. They have other directors who have been working, but I am now back on doing Rogue Squadron. We'll see what happens. We need to get it to where we're both super happy with it. Star Wars Rogue Squadron was originally announced as a Jenkins-directed film in 2020. Progress continued steadily from there until Disney hit fans with an indefinite delay in 2021. Then, the following year, the company removed the project's film calendar entirely. It wasn't until April 2023 that Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy clarified that her Rogue Squadron project could still happen. At the time, she said the film is something that we still talk about, though she was also warned that it may not return as what was originally pitched. Whether it's a movie or whether it ends up being in the series Space, that's definitely something, she said. Although Jenkins does say today that she's always wanted to create a fighter pilot movie, it's still unclear if Rogue Squadron will stick to the original version. So there you have it. Those are all of Patty Jenkins' comments and a little more information about the history of this Rogue Squadron movie. Now, if you've been following it as closely as me, you know that this project was announced and it was very hyped up. It was in that original slate of Disney movies and shows that were going to be coming in the near future and everybody was very hyped about it it was pitched as a star wars top gun directed by this female director who had a huge passion for flight as her father was a fighter pilot and she wanted to make somewhat of a commemoration to him through this movie and everybody was very hyped about this the trailer that they showed yes they dropped a kind of director's trailer for this movie where that information about Jenkins' father came from, and it got people very hyped up. There was obviously a lot of passion behind the project, a lot of good ideas behind the project, and the time period that it was set in was also very appealing as it takes place kind of in this Mandoverse era and will probably riff off of a lot of the Rogue Squadron content we have in games and the EU. But quickly, there fell some turmoil within Lucasfilm. The project was delayed and then later just wiped without any announcement. It was not talked about. It was not shown to any investor panels, any release slates, and everybody was very silent about it. And a lot of people and insiders kind of pointed this to Kathleen Kennedy and Patty Jenkins having a lot of creative differences when it came to the movie. Now, I don't know if this is true. That's just always been kind of the word on the street regarding this movie, because again, we don't have a lot of concrete evidence as to the problems that have been happening with this movie. Now, of course, Kathleen Kennedy, as mentioned in the article, has come out and said, this could still happen. I don't want to rule it out. But, you know, all of us fans kind of take everything with a grain of salt and just roll our eyes at that. But it sounds like that behind the scenes, this has been a goal this whole time. And whether this is Patty Jenkins being silenced with hush money, God, I hope not. Or if that was truly the case and she just had Wonder Woman at the top of her slate, we don't really know. But part of me thinks if that was the original plan from the jump, why did they indefinitely pause it and then cancel it? I feel like it would have made a lot more sense and it would have caused a lot less speculation to just come out and say, 
Jenkins has stepped away for the foreseeable future to deal with Wonder Woman in the DC Universe. She'll come back and direct Rogue Squadron when she has the chance. That would have made everything so much easier, which makes me a little fishy and makes me kind of believe that there was creative differences and that Jenkins' idea was not always Wonder Woman, then Rogue Squadron. And that's kind of just what she's been told to say. I don't want to speculate too much on that, but it does seem kind of likely and is slightly concerning. But nonetheless, rest in peace to the DCEU, gone but probably not missed. I think it's a blessing in disguise that that got canceled because from what we're being told, at least, that is how Patty Jenkins has been able to come back to the Star Wars universe and continue her draft of Star Wars for Lucasfilm. She says even that she owes them a script after all this time. And apparently it's very up in the air if this is going to be a movie or a show. I think this needs to be a movie. We need to get Star Wars back into the theaters. Even Patty commenting on it herself, saying that they have a lot of other directors and a lot of other projects happening at the moment. She doesn't even know what's going to be released first, but just knows that hers will potentially be there and that they are in active development in the early stages for it. So yeah, that's all the news I have on that for today. As more news about the Rogue Squadron movie comes out, I'll be reporting on it here on the channel. I'm very excited that this is still happening. I hope it sticks to the original idea because in this article it sounds like they are kind of unclear on if it's going to follow those original story beats or not, but I hope it does because it sounds very interesting. And if they change it, I hope it's just minor changes. And of course, I guess we have to worry about Gina Carano. Are we going to still act like her character is off on this mission for the New Republic or is she finally going to be brought justice and brought back? I highly doubt it. Are they going to recast her? Are they just going to still act like she doesn't exist and have a new main character uh, female pilot? I don't know. But overall, I'm still very excited to hear that this is back in development. A lot of people were looking forward to this movie, and I hope they still are, and I hope this movie is not forgotten. Again, I'm going to be updating you guys on news about the movie on the channel, so make sure to stick around for that. And that is all I have. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.